to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us in your you. Wow, this place is kind of fancy. Holy cow. Are we dressed okay for this place? Uh, yep. I see somebody in tank top. We're good. I just got a scramble with some uh, hash browns. So we got, oh, did you get an egg Benedict? Mm -hmm. Just a half. This is a California, so it has avocado, tomato, this was cheese. What do we got here? Yeah, what do we got here? Coconut cream. It doesn't look quite as good as Sherman's, but... It's just not as tall. But you see the look of hope? Next comes here. the serious look. Nope, but we got another nod. I would rate that as a solid nine. It's really good, but I no. think Sherman's Deli coconut cream pie is a little better. I would agree with that. <laughs> Mainly because yeah. of the chocolate layer. I don't know. I was going to say at eight and a half. Don't listen to him. He's not a pie connoisseur. I, I tasted it. Doing a little bit of house cleaning today. Taking some clothes back. Have you ever taken anything to Plato's Closet? That's a good place to take some of your old clothes and uh, get a little bit of cash back. Hopefully. They don't know. Then we go to Goodwill. That's right. We always try there and get rid of what they'll take, and then the rest goes to Goodwill. Some of us go through a lot of clothes. Yes. Some of us. You're not talking about me. He'll wear a shirt a couple times and then it's like, oh, oh my I don't like goodness. It. Oh my, I can't believe you said that. Well, I'm off to a work conference. Have to fly back to Iowa for a couple days. Leaving Palm Springs, sunny palms, 80 degrees to go to 50 degree weather in Iowa. Got up at 4 a.m. this morning. I think Michelle got up a little sooner. Uh, had to take her to the airport. She had a business trip to go on. This was the first time in our almost four years now of full-time RVing that uh, we've been apart. I told her this will give me a lot of time to, to catch up with some editing and stuff, uh, things I need to do. So I can just work day and night basically for the next uh, three days while she's gone. Before that though, I need to go mail our grandkids uh, little Halloween cards and, and candy and uh, stop at UPS and then be ready to start the day. But, oh, there's Michelle texting right now. There is one thing that I'm excited about since she's gone. Just one thing that I get her workstation. It's much more comfortable working back there than it is up here. With Michelle gone, just not having her around, it's, it's really odd to tell you. A lot more room now, though. Miss you, sweets, but. Uh... If you need to stay longer, it's okay. I'm keeping your desk and, and seat warm for you. It sure is nice. <sighs> Long day of traveling. Had a delayed flight out of Phoenix into Iowa, but made it in time to go have a happy hour with my department. And now I'm back in the hotel room ready to go to bed and it's only like 6 30. that is the capital well this is the last day of my work conference here in iowa i'm checking out of the hotel the conference is done at noon and i gotta book it to the airport so that i can get on my flight to go back to palm springs bye bye des moines tanks uh, for the sewer hose, a little adapter, works pretty slick.
back out to the van here the rest of the day. And I'm just staying right here in the parking lot because there's no reason to go all the way back to the campground. We've got the battery power to do it. We need AC, we've got that. I say we, but it's just me. But you're right here with me, right? Michelle just texted me a little bit ago and she's on the plane on her way back. I'm just gonna stick around here and just keep plugging away until it's time to pick her up. I'm kind of away from everybody and not taking up uh, space. Flight was delayed this evening and uh, getting in just a little bit later. Hi! Want a ride? Yes! What's the password? Hadley's. What's Hadley's? Yeah, what's Hadley's? That's <laughs> just date shakes ever. Oh, they have a little store too that might be okay, but the date shakes, that's what we're here for. Oh, and look at the line. This is just for the date shakes. So good. Da bomb. So good. You gotta drink all that. Otherwise, the <laughs> bomb will be right here. I was talking about my belly. I got a large because we're sharing. I cannot drink all this. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> you hear that? See, we've seen you in action, honey. <laughs> Little break from videos today. Well, kind of. I guess I'm shooting one right now. <laughs> Little shopping day. We got us a little tree, mm -hmm. a Bed Bath and Beyond, a little Charlie Brown tree. Yeah, trying to make this look a little homey. Let's see if we can't find some uh, organization things for like our shoes and that. We got lots of shoes. You, what was that? We got lots of shoes. Oh, that sounded like you had a piece of pie in your mouth or something <laughs> nice when you slurred it. I'm going for the money. There's I a think. beautiful view because it's so clear today. Oh, wow. We really like this park here. It's clean, I know it's all concrete, but at the other thousand trails, this is an encore, by the way, Palm Springs RV Oasis, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Palm Springs Oasis RV Resort. Oh, okay. It's an encore. It's in Cathedral City, California, but it's very clean. Uh, the location is really good. Mm -hmm. We like location. where it's located. Small, but nice. But when you get those winds and all that here, and in the Coachella Valley, the Thousand Trails over in Palm Desert, it gets really, really dusty. Yeah. And it's a lot dirty, track in sand a lot more over there, unless you get one of their concrete sites and then you're a little bit better, but you still have the sand, uh, blowing sand to deal with. This is our last day here. We're gonna head to an RV resort on the Colorado River. It's supposed to be really nice. We're gonna stay there one night mm -hmm. and then we're gonna move on to Vegas. We got something big coming up. For us anyway in yeah. vegas <laughs> we're excited uh, about anybody else we oh. got to stop and get coffee because oh, we didn't make coffee. any all right yeah but i know i didn't make any coffee yeah you're slacking <laughs> the new unit here we don't know whether to call it mini vinny 2.0 or what yet that's what i want to call it that is uh-huh okay there you go we'll have another video and we'll talk about all the updates that they've done to this and what's different uh but uh for now we gotta move along. I did a one last look see. I did one last look see outside too, Z. Okay, Z. Wheezy Rezies do go Z. Wheezy? Who's Wheezy? I don't know. <laughs> George Jefferson's wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Wheezy. You ain't feeling good? I think we've done a video in the past years about this place. We did a long time ago. Long time ago. It is walking distance to a couple good eating places just literally diagonally across the street the yep. intersection that's right Same here. from here Do you yeah. remember the names of those places michael's cafe is one um what was the burger place tony's tony's burgers Ton tony's burgers and then what's the one right next to michael's cafe i don't know but it's right next to michael's, michael's cafe, cafe. <laughs> it, we had pizza there it was good yeah yeah all right We'll get moving here, show you a little bit of it, and we'll get on to the next RV resort that we're gonna be staying at today. Been wandering round and searching for a place to fall. There's a time for us, I know we could have it all. If you stay for a while, I will show you I can make the call. Feel the road noises compared to the other one, pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same. I know we could have it all
have a restaurant here as well but at the entrance they've blocked it off so that the burrows the donkeys couldn't get through to go because they'd always go down to drink the the water in the river so they had to block them off to keep them from going through the RV park uh, for safety reasons but they put two fountains out front so that the burrows would have something to drink still little fountains but yeah it still gives them some water to drink wow this is a nice yeah like a nice resort well, thank you terry and ed luna for recommending letting... it looks very nice wish we had more than one night to stay but I know. at least we get to check it out here and check out this RV park. Did you see these two villas down here have a deck on top of the villa? Yeah, that's cool. Isn't, isn't that kind of cool? We can walk down this sidewalk here and go yeah. past them. Did you notice how clear that water is? Mm-hmm. I did. Very really clear, clear for a river. Yeah. Right. This is the Colorado River. Yeah. So we got a walkway straight down through here. Goes right past a couple villas. Temperature today is really nice. What was it? 72 right now. 72, yeah. I should have got my sunglasses. You should have. I think we might check out their food here tonight. They, um, they do have gluten-free pizza and a cauliflower crust pizza. These villas, this is really cute. area I believe here but all these villas here this beach is all private uh, private beach for these villas uh, most of them are owner occupied and a few of them they do rent out during the summertime and it gets pretty crazy here from what we heard in the summer so you're not really even supposed to walk through there but uh, we asked one of the residents here that's sitting outside and she said you're fine go ahead and walk through she said there was a couple new ones being built and it was going for around 400000 But those uh, do not have a beach to them, and these do. That's kind of a cute little front to these. I think that's storage right there. I think I saw yeah. that on the map. So RV storage over there. So you got some trails across the road there. We need to go take a drive and go see if we can see some burrows. Yeah. And then come back and have supper. Mm -hmm. There's like three restroom places, I believe, with shower houses. We'll go check one out and see what it looks like. Terry and Ed Lunette told us that this place is a good place to eat. It's called Crossroads Cafe here in Parker. It was about eight miles from the resort there, but they also said there's good pie. So we're not gonna eat here because we're gonna eat back at the resort. So we're just gonna go in there and get Michelle shell piece of pie so she can test it out. Whatever you want. Peach pie to go. Maybe have it tonight after we have our pizza at the other place. Hi, two little fuzzies. You're cute. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, we got one coming. I hate not giving him any food. I know. It makes me feel like an ass. Oh my god. 
skinny margarita recipe that we want to share with you. We used to crush our own cucumbers and jalapenos, but then we found this tequila that we don't have to do that no more. <laughs> it's got the cucumber and jalapeno in it. Don't let that discourage you because Michelle and I both don't care for really spicy stuff. This has just a hint of jalapeno. It makes it really nice. Cucumber as well. So we got the 21 Seeds. That's the brand. Cucumber jalapeno. Not affiliated with them. So this is what we use. We use that. We use the organic lime juice, 365 brand from Whole Foods. We've tried all different kinds and we like this the best. That's just the one that we've used. And then we used to use... Um, Pellegrino. Yeah, Pellegrino. But now we're using the Zevia uh, ginger ale with it. Just It has a little sweetener to it also. And then for added sweetener, I've showed you this before in other drinks we've made, a stevia extract. It's uh, organic from Whole Foods also. It's a 365 brand. For our drinks, these are 12 ounce cups. We do two ounces of tequila, sometimes three. <laughs> two ounces of tequila, an ounce of the lime juice. It's organic also. I don't know if I said that. One big cube in there. And then I fill the rest of it up with the ginger ale. And then I put two dropperfuls of the stevia extract. Use this little tiny whisk. We do have a shaker, but you don't want to do that with a carbonated beverage. It doesn't turn out too well. <laughs> Ask how we know. <laughs> oh, whatever. I didn't do that. I know from common sense, believe it or not. You have that? <laughs> Sundance RV Resort is located in Earp, California. The town was originally named Drennan in 1910 and was renamed Earp in 1929. It was named for famed Old West lawman Wyatt Earp, who with his common-law wife, Josephine Sarah Marcus, lived part-time in the area beginning in 1906. staked more than 100 copper and gold mining claims near the base of the Whipple Mountains. We're going to head up to the, the resort's little saloon. You remember what the name of it was? Outlaw's Saloon. Oh yeah, Outlaw's Saloon. Hi. Having a couple yeah, cauliflower crust pizzas. Mm -hmm. Haven't ate it yet, but looks yummy. wondering what you're doing. You're getting the pie that you got earlier. I yes. forgot about that. I never did get to see it. Ooh. Big old piece of peach pie. Pretty peachy. Get some peaches. Mm-hmm. Thank you, peaches. It might be a little warm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's a good peach. Mm. That's a good peach pie. Yeah. Good crust, is it? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, the internet connection is not the greatest here. We get one bar, sometimes two bars. We have Wi-Fi here, and it's not the greatest. Um, the one up at the restaurant is decent, though. We used that while we were eating. This would be a good place to pop out the uh, Starlink. If you're gonna be, but we're just gonna be here tonight. Yeah, not really worth it. We're not gonna mess with it. <laughs> um, if we don't, here. if we don't quit eating that, we're not gonna be able to get by each other anymore. <laughs> morning we're gonna stop by a place called Rusty's Diner. Uh, had some good reviews. We're gonna be going, we had a recommendation but it's where Michelle got her pie and it's kind of the opposite direction. We wanted to stop there because that was Michelle's dad's name. <laughs> and uh, had good reviews too so just made it even better. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Seems like time has a way to pass 
and by leave a mark in our marks to turn the memories. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you are. The river's gonna cry when you are. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. This is a cool little place. So my dad's name was Russell, but always went by Rusty. And I'm sitting directly across the sign of Rusty's diet. Well, that's pretty good food. I definitely recommend that for a especially for breakfast they we saw some people getting lunch too and their sandwiches looked really yeah, good yeah very well. good big portions too you will not leave hungry for a breakfast place definitely rate it mm. i'm gonna say eight and a half yeah it was my yeah i'd go with that mm -hmm. we are getting ready to go over the london bridge and i hope it's not falling down this is the actual stones from the london bridge from london england that was bought by McCullough, who established this Lake Havasu City uh -huh. back in 1968. And he had all the stones like removed and shipped over to Long Beach, California, and then was transported from there to here hmm. and uh, built the London Bridge here. That was the actual stones from the London Bridge that was actually built in 1830 in London, England. That's kind of cool. It is How cool. weird though that it's in Arizona. <laughs> of all places. Quick stop at Walmart. If you're looking for some dry camping spots around Lake Havasu City, north and south of Lake Havasu City, they're just they're all over and you'll see like we did, I'm sure. Uh, a bunch of people, motorhomes, pit wheels, travel trailers, vans, just parked and then kind of grouped in these certain areas. But there's quite a few. We've seen them just everywhere there. Thought about stopping and getting GPS coordinates, but honestly, if you're just driving through, you're gonna see them. There's just one after another. And uh, about most of them that we saw, there's just a big group of oh, people. Yeah. They don't look like they're together. They're just scattered all over. Kind of like courtside. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Because we have been working hard Right from the very start Now we get this far But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late We've come along the way So we deserve it, mate Call it a day and celebrate to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. Great.